Hello and welcome back to Forza. We're going to be doing a live test on how to cannon rush. So the first thing we want to do is, uh, well, quick, quick, uh, just context. I just joined a random match into the world. Haven't done anything exciting. No pre-planned. I'm just gonna start it off and see what kind of damage we can do. Uh, but first off, we're going to want to build one mine, one. And then put down our technology. We want to get that down as fast as possible. Next up, we're definitely going to want to get a turbine going because, uh, well, we're going to need the energy coming up here pretty quickly. And then we, uh, we wait. That's most most of it, actually. So we're going to need to have, in order to get down the uh, next tech structure. In this particular map, we don't start with any storages. So we're going to have to build storages, which will slow us down noticeably. But this will be fine. Don't worry about it. We get these going, and then we just wait. We wait for the resources, and uh, that's it. Now, I've chosen the uh, Overdrive Commander for this particular rush, and for no reason in particular. Uh, this commander doesn't provide any benefits, so you can do this rush with or without this commander. If you do it using Overdrive, obviously you will build a little bit faster, and there's some other commanders that help with this. But I wanted to do it using Overdrive because it provides no significant benefits, and there's nothing that we have to... Nothing that we have to do to capitalize on it. So now we're at a minute and 30 seconds, and we're going to be waiting for the metal to put down a munitions plant as we wait. I can actually speed this process up by going and selling this off and now suddenly we have the metal to put down a munitions plant. We're at a minute and 40, which is a little bit behind what we would have on a more vanilla-ish structure where we start with one of each storage, as most most starting forts will start you off with one of those storages. And uh, we're back up to the waiting game, except this time we want to be building a location to put our weapons. Notice we don't actually start with any such location here, so I'm going to be trying to make a little bit of an adapter to play with. An adapter being some kind of a structure that we can create that increases the size from two to two and a half. That way we now have a block box here that's two and a half and we can put a weapon there. Isn't that great how that works? It's, it's makes things a bit more simple. So now, actually, I've done this wrong again. Let's go like so. This also needs to be at two and a half, which should be right there. There we go. Much better. So I'll have two cannons right down there. Go ahead and slide this down. I don't really want to attach down here, as that would cost a significant amount of resources. But it looks like we're going to have the resources to spend, so I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. Now as I wait, it looks like I still have enough resources to spend, so I'll go ahead and add another mine here. And that will still leave us with enough money, or at least enough metal, to build a cannon as soon as we can. So I'll go ahead and attach a little front here. And just kind of keep my resources not capped, that way I'm still generating resources, still able to spend it, yet not, well, float it all away. So I want to keep my resources as close to 900 as possible without actually being on 900, that way I don't float my resources into non-existence, and build my first cannon right down here. Right there. Nice. Now I noticed that I had a little bit of trouble building up top, so I'm going to build a little brace down here and connect it. And this is just to keep, it, just to give me a place to put the cannon without losing anything. So I'll be put it, building a second cannon there eventually. I want to be building that up as soon as possible. It looks like my uh, friend is going for a more economic focus, building all over the place. And as we saw, we did see some additional storages back here. He's got some kind of internal structure. You can see him splitting beams back here to fit more things. He's going for a very economic, heavy kind of build. He's got multiple mines there. He's got another mine down here. He's hitting all the expansions. So when we're going to hit him, we're going to hit him hard. And he's unlikely to have much in the way of weapons for at least an, a minute or so after we land our first strike. So I'll go ahead and put my cannon down. So now we've got two cannons going. And I need to start working on my own economic expansion. That way I can have, well, the energy needed to keep this up. So what I'm going to do is build my turbines up here uh, because they're safe here. Most mostly safe here. Nothing's perfectly safe, but if they're up here, then they're very difficult to actually hit. So I'm going to go ahead and go like this. And build another location up here. Build another turbine out here. Notice how they have very high efficiency because, well, it's solid, well, land that the game starts you out with doesn't actually 
block wind or anything of the sort. It's only structures that you build. I am keeping my eye on my opponent here because he is going to be building things. I don't know what he's going to be building, but he hasn't actually expanded or displayed anything, and he still has his forward most defenses. Now, as far as I could tell, he still only has these two pieces of metal there, and two cannons fired at the same time, or at least fired into the same location, will penetrate all the way through. And in most cases, as soon as you get these cannons, you just want to start firing them, because unlike lasers, cannons don't quite have the same penetrative power that lasers do. So rather than winning by penetrating going all the way through and penetrating the opponent's base, you want to win by slowly grinding them down. As cannons, you can't stop the damage they deal. You can only um, reduce the damage. You can mitigate some of it, but some of it is going to go through, so you can always deal damage to the opponent. And usually with cannons, you win just by grinding the opponent down until they have no more energy, no more metal, and they can't rebuild before you just blow them away with another round of cannon. So, but in this case, I see that my opponent has neglected to add any defenses at all, meaning that despite the reduced amount of, oh, oh yeah, now he's adding defenses, but it may just be too late, because despite all of that, he hasn't actually prevented me, look at that, he down to one piece of metal there, and if I nail this shot, oh, almost got it. Almost nailed it. A little bit lower, it would have gone straight through the core. He needs to add some serious defenses on his core in order to survive the next volley, like so. so but now I need to make sure that I'm spending my resources. So I'm going to get, go ahead and add my own defenses, like so. And then fire again. Now in this case, I'm just going to keep firing all the way through. Actually, I'm going to aim up a little higher. As you see here, he's got background bracing and something smoking up there. That means we did some damage to it already, so I'm going to try to aim for that target. Because he does have def- oh, he hasn't- he actually did metal up again, so I could just fire again. And we should go all the way through- oh, jeez, I missed. It's okay. Well, this is fine, so I'm just going to keep meddling up. Protecting my own goodies here. I'm going to start protecting my mines, that way he doesn't have an opportunity to break them. And then, uh, that's really, that's going to be it. We're waiting for these to come off cooldown again. It sounds like he built more metal there, so I'm just going to keep firing in the same location. There we go. This time he did build more metal, and this shot should go into the right spot. There it is. And that's the end. Alright, and we are off to round two. Uh, entirely new lobby, entirely new players, and we'll be doing the entirely same cannon rush, but this time in a slightly more vanilla map. We're going to be kicking it off like so, building one mine, and then going over to the technology tree and putting this down as fast as possible. Notice that I have sold off this gunner and these metal for the same reason as last time, just to get it, uh, it's just to get this technology out faster, and this time we don't actually have to build these structures because like most vanilla maps you come with one of them. So I'm just going to start working on my turbines. I'm going to put this up to two and a half and then split the beams so we have smaller struts to work with which is good. We can fit more things in the same space and our turbine is down and then we are off to waiting. Waiting for this technology to complete. So what I'm going to do is just build this right up here. I'll put my next technology right up here. I'm just covering it up just so that no one sees what's going on. Now is my time to check out what's going on over here. We have somebody who has spent an egregious amount of money connecting all of these braces to their foundation here. If you guys notice, let me show you the difference. Uh, just building one brace like this costs 10 metal, 50 energy. Instead, connecting it down here costs not only that 13 metal and 66 energy, but an additional 50 metal and 400 energy. So don't do not do that. That's, that's bad. That costs a lot of money, and if you're spending an additional several hundred metal, before putting down your technology or working forward, you're going to be behind someone who doesn't do that. So whenever you see someone doing this, know that they've spent more money than you could ever, that they could ever hope to, uh, hope to regain in the near future. So we're just going to be sitting on four mines once this is down and back to waiting. Now cannons do not need an additional battery nor uh, storage, any kind of storage device, this metal store or battery in order to be placed. However, you need exactly the amounts of resources at cap in order to put it down. So we got to be real careful about this to stay as close to the cap as metal cap as we can without actually floating. Because if we float, start floating metal, then we, we lose a lot. We lose a lot of metal. And uh, at this point, we're just going to wait. 
In fact, just to try to show you how hard that could be, I'm just gonna not build my defenses and wait until we hit metal cap and then just keep myself at the metal cap without floating resources. Now, usually it's always better to have those resources down earlier, like right now. I could wait to put that down to show you guys, but the sooner we put down the another turbine, the better. And I'm just gonna wait for this to complete. And the moment this is done, we're putting that cannon down. Keep in mind that it is already two minutes and 30 seconds into the match and we are almost ready to put down our cannon. Cannons take two minutes to complete. We're starting to float metal because we hit that cap, so let's go like so. Start branching out a little bit. Try to stay close to the 900 without touching it. And cannon is ready to, our munition plant is ready, so let's go ahead and put this down. Placed, so now our cannon is placed and we are going to be waiting for the next available cannon. We want to get two cannons up before anything really kicks off because once things start kicking off, they kick off really hard. So in order to put the next cannon down, we want to be building it up here. The cannon will be placed on top of these wind turbines. Notice I have built really tall here. So I'm going to build up a little bit just for stability reasons. Keep in mind, we are playing very risky with this. But it looks like we can get away with it. The sooner we get this out, the better. Now, heavy weapons usually don't come out before uh, 4 minutes, 4 minutes 30 seconds, so as long as we have our defenses up by about 4 minutes and 30 seconds, we'll be fine. We have another 60 seconds before that hits, so we'll be okay as long as we can put this down and then start defending ourselves against the same weapons that we intend to attack. Alright, so we'll go ahead and put this here. In a few more seconds, we got another 20 seconds or so before this could be before we resource get the metal for this. Uh, don't worry about floating energy, you're going to have enough energy, there's no way to stop that float without unreasonable expenditure. Let's go ahead and cover that up. And now we really need to start defending ourselves. We do not have enough of anything in front. So let's go ahead and lean this back just to stop all of that from leaning forward and start layering the armor here. I want to get another turbine and layer all of that armor. Now what I'm going to do is also this, just to double brace the bottom here, keep it safe. And I'll add a door on my cannons after I have fired them once. Looks like we have some additional doors placed over here, so we're looking at uh, smaller weapons, harassment weapons, perhaps sn snipers and machine guns. Uh, my first cannon is ready to go, so I need to start opening fire and start draining my opponent of resources. Uh, the sooner we start this process, the better. I have missed. That happens to everyone. Don't worry about it. They know we have a cannon. They could start dealing with it. We'll build our door over here. Now that they know that they, we have cannons, they'll probably start firing at us. You can already hear doors opening on their end. I'm going to go ahead and... Ooh. And that... Oh, he has flak in there. All right. So my teammate has brought out the EMPs. This is fine. Let's go ahead and aim higher. Try to hit aim for those flak. There we are. Start wearing him down. So we're going to want to build back some more and get out some more turbines. Uh, this is a good time to build another battery. So we want to keep we want to keep the fire rate up. So we want to make sure to have 3,000 energy right before we need to fire it. And once the second cannon comes online, we'll need more than 3,000 energy. But for that, we're going to need significantly more energy production. Let's go ahead and put this down. We have 3,000 energy. So let's actually aim a little bit lower and try to hit the bottom of his base. It'll collapse, perhaps, and indeed he goes down. So now our second cannon is online, and for this guy, it looks like he's gone like full economy. He's got a, a lot of upgrades, so we're going to go ahead and take out his economy, punish him for doing that. I'm going to aim for his economy here. And just keep up the fire rate on all of his economic structures. If he's spending energy and resources defending his economic structures, then he's going to have that much less to deal with. At least, that much less resources to deal with me. Let's go ahead and fire. And it looks like the host has left. And we're out of there! Hello and welcome to round three, the final round, because I think that should time things off just enough so we'll go ahead and sell this off go ahead and build this up and start working in the next bunch we are in we've joined a 4v4 lobby this time just kind of lobby hopping around this one's got a little bit of a lag to it uh just about on that 300 number that i usually use is just a bit too high 
but I think we'll be all right. If we start seeing some desyncs, we'll know pretty quickly and you guys won't have to worry about it because it won't be in this video. But let's go ahead and just move on down. So the next step is to wait and move on. Now, typically in 4v4s, we want to be a, this is a, a 4v4 match. You want to try to work with the team a little bit. Uh, and it's just kind of the rule of thumb, the, you know, the law of proximity that the guy on front gets shot first and uh, blown to smithereens. So I'm unlikely to survive this because frankly, uh, face tanking for dudes, especially when we have players that have already rushing seemingly as fast as I am, uh, is usually not a good way to survive. But we'll we'll see what we can we can do about that. Because we can get our guns out first and start bringing players down, then we might be able to relieve our own pain before the pain starts coming. So let's go ahead and get this up as soon as this armory is complete, and then work on the next step. Next step is increasing our economy just a little bit. We'll go ahead and put our mine down as soon as it's ready. Come on, there's the mine, and then the next turbine. All right, let us go. Turbine. Looks like the forward most player is definitely going for the, uh, going to block line of sight on everything. Uh, typically players like to do this kind of style when they're rushing. Uh, rushing earlier weapons like rockets and such, which is mildly concerning. Uh, is he gonna put turbines up there? If he puts turbines up there, I'd be happy. If he doesn't, I'd be sad because that means we're about to get hit by something that'll slow our progression down a lot. Put something up there. Uh, it sounds like he's putting turbines up there. I say that because he's putting multiple things down and this didn't convert to foreground bracing or, or didn't convert to background bracing or door or anything. So we should be okay. Floating energy is fine, because we'll always get more of that. Go ahead and build this here. Stabilize this a little bit. Uh, again, I'm waiting till about 900 resources to do that, just so I can be prepared to put down this as soon as it's available. So our cannon is down. The cannon is down at 2 minutes and about 35 seconds. I'll leave the F8 menu open so you guys can see what's going on here in terms of timings. So about 4 minutes and 35 seconds. Actually, we are the Hurricane Commander, so it'll go even faster. Little bit faster than that, we will be ready to fire our next cannon. So I'm going to build up and prepare placement in our next cannon. That way we can have two cannons on the field. At this point, I'm going to sell off this. Because we don't need it anymore, as we're building cannons. It'll give us a little bit of the income necessary in order to continue production of our heavy weapons. Right, and wait for it. And we got a few more seconds to go. Yeah, he hasn't built anything over here. Looks like he's planning to build things there. Probably cannons, but he will be our first target because we will be following the law of proximity. All right, click. Cannon goes down. Just cover it up just to make sure nothing horrible happens to us. Next up, we need another turbine, and then battery. We've got a few more seconds before this comes out. And remember, once this cannon comes out, we need to be able to take cannon hits as much as deal them out. So battery goes down. And then focus entirely on defense. Which means like so. Putting this down. And more of this. Open this up and fire upon our foe. Try to collapse him here because he's built tall and didn't defend in time. All right, he's gone. One less, i put a door here. There we go. And work our way forward. Looks like our teammate has also the same idea of using the cannons. Uh, our commander ability, because we are Hurricane, uh, gives us the ability to reload faster. Unfortunately, I don't have the, econo the economy, the energy production, in order to capitalize on that. So I'm just going to keep firing at our next opponents. I notice he has a couple background bracings up top and a lot of wood in front, so I'm not going to try to collapse him. I'm going to aim for his upper segments. Now, he did not have enough... Looks like he was doing a similar kind of rush, but focused more on economy. So while he did have a cannon down, he didn't have it ready to fire. The joy of going quickly. 
as we add more doors and continue to upgrade our potential. Now I need to add a second door on this guy real quick. Like so. And start working our way across. Looks like one of the opponents has missiles. I'll have to be very careful about that. Now we have both cannons ready to fire, so I'll try to aim for the same location. Get some penetration going. Can is not known for their penetration power, but they can do some damage when needed. So we've hit roughly in the bottom. Can we get the same spot? Not even close. All right. Let's go like so. We need to start getting some missile defense as well. And to do that, you guys know how this works. We add a little segment on the front. And then gunners. Uh, we do not have Tanya's mod or any such wooden door mod, so that we want to have standard gunners just exposed just putting them behind doors will slow down their ability to fire and not protect us nearly as much from the missile so let's go ahead and aim this a little bit lower it's a nice shot and then this into the same location like so there we go now he's got a lot of wood here it's very dense and it's starting to rack up the amount of economy needed to fire it so we're just going to Hold off. Activate a commander ability to fire again. That way he's still in the repairing segments of his build before firing another wave right into the middle. And as soon as we get the energy up to finish it, we should be able to send this next cannon shell right up to the same location. Ooh, doing a lot of damage, but not enough to finish him off. So while we got the quick reload on those cannons and sending it all into roughly the same location, it wasn't enough to finish him off. But we do have gunners set up. Let's go actually go ahead and put another gunner up here as we work our way back and add some more turbines. Remember, constant growth. We'll go ahead and add an energy shield onto this as well. This will uh, get rid of some of our turbine return value, but it will be worth it at this point as we're starting to get heavier weapons in play and more and more players bring their weapons to bear. So it looks like one of my opponents has actually built a mortar. Mortar's not great in terms of damage dealing on this map, but they are good for anti-air distractions. So what I'm going to do is actually change targets a little bit and aim higher and try to hit where this guy's energy production is. And slow him down. I got rid of his energy shield. Do the same thing here. Try to clear out his energy production. Not quite high enough. I need to increase my own energy production here. I need to build up again. There we go. And the next way for us to increase energy production is to get a, an upgrade center. Ooh, that was a nice shot. That will shut down any energy shields and things he has building here. It looks like he's building more stuff up there, so I do want to try to hit that if possible. But focusing first on, ener on removing his energy production. There we go. Now he's got to spend resources on fixing that. I want to aim higher and try to hit this guy's doors as well. There we go. Just stop all of that. Looks like he did build his cannon back there, so I want to be careful about that. All right, we've taken a hit. This is fine. Don't worry about it. But it does mean we need to focus a little bit more on defenses. Let's go ahead and do this. We're good. Our cannons are safe from direct hits. I need to aim this right here. And this one is good in the same spot. Actually, they aim a little bit higher. There we go. So we did lose a door on this guy, so we'll go ahead and put him back. Uh, that door, I'm not sure if that would be built before the commander active sets it ready to fire. Alright, so let's go ahead and fire this. This guy needed to be aimed slightly higher. We're aiming for his cannon now. Not quite good enough. Go ahead and start the repair process and aim for his door again. There we go. Let's go ahead and put our metal back. Now I do want to spend some of these resources. Once I get enough metal, I'll be putting down an upgrade center. This guy needs to be aimed noticeably higher, so we can try to hit his door on his cannon. There it is. I'll go ahead and activate the commander ability here to try to get off the second shot onto the same location. There we go. And if we can get one more cannon round from this guy, we should go straight through... Oh dear, that was a double cannon round, sniping my second cannon, but this... Sh ah, I don't think I got it in time. Straight through to his cannon, there it is, straight through to his cannon, and causing the collapse.
just enough shift in the weight to cause the collapse. We do have an enemy target here that has gone a more tech heavy and economy heavy route. Uh, built up two cannons, fired them all at the same time. Fortunately, uh, or at least unfortunately for his team, we our faster placement has meant we removed two of his teammates before, but it also means that we don't have as much economy and defenses as he does. So I'm going to start playing for the later game now and just trying to defend myself. Uh, try to put this down, use my one remaining cannon. I actually can't fire this cannon at the opponent anymore, so I have to redesign this if I'm going to attempt to use this cannon, uh, which is not a great idea right now, considering I'm being fired upon a lot. So I'm just going to build another turbine. Try to redesign this up here and not die horrendously to the other two opponents that are going to start focusing me down. All right, we actually don't have the metal right now to repair, which is unfortunate, but it is the reality of getting hit by cannons. I need to have... Actually, I'm going to just... Because I can't use this right now, this cannon, I'm just going to block it off entirely. I'm not going to get rid of it right now. Um, I want to try to use it later on. Uh, I do have a means of redesigning this, but I do need to get the economic... Well, the economy to do so. Looks like one of my teammates has removed the topmost dude. This is good. So in order to redesign this, I need to move this guy over here. I'll wait for that energy shield to come online before removing the first one. Or I won't remove the first one, just disable it. I'll turn this into foreground bracing. As my team starts nailing this guy from above. Looks like his cannon is exposed, so while I wait to just start maneuvering things around, I'm going to build a sniper to give me some means of assistance without spending a lot of money. Bring this back up as we work our way toward the later game. Let's also work on an upgrade center as we power ourselves up. Now these, as you notice, are things that my teammates and everyone else already have. But it is what it is. Alright, so now this is online. We can shut this down. Ooh, close. But that should actually give us a nice clear line of sight to the opponent. Right to the bottom. Right there. Nice. And go ahead and close this off. Put this energy shield back. So what I'm going to do for the moment is convert this to background bracing, or foreground bracing. This will block off my turbines, but it all should also allow them to take a direct cannon shot without losing everything. Alright, I'm going to reinforce the base a little bit down here and try sniping a little bit. It looks like my team actually got rid of his cannons. At least one of them. And the other one's dangling by a thread. There's not really much I need to do here in terms of sniping. It just looks like my team is wiping out the last player. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this back into background bracing. Go like so. See if I can get off one more shot out of this door. Right to the center, right to the core. Very good, very good. Need to work on the next cannon. Here we are. Coming in with the 20s. Ooh, that was a nice cannon round coming from above. All right, next cannon round is available to fire. Courtesy of the commander, Hurricane Commander active. The center straight to the middle. Ooh, that's going to do a lot of damage. All right. Let's go ahead and set up this guy. We are good. We can start upgrading these guys for better goodies. Actually going to hold off on the second upgrade so I can fire this cannon. Right to the center. Almost. Wait, will this one do it? Yes! There it is! Alright guys, that is your good old cannon rush. So for now, have a good one. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys later!